And we are live. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Shade Selects. Happy Monday. My goodness, the weekend flew by, but we have a big night tonight. I'm going to bring on my co-host here in a second, Nick Costos. And then we've got a special guest today, Jumper Man Chris. What's going on, Haitian? Angela, Jennifer, what's up? Smash uh Vinny, we've got from nebraska hey anthony what's going on kai ricardo and j doc good to see you all in here we have a fun guest that we're gonna have come on around 9 30 so definitely stick around for when jumper van chris is gonna hop on but i am gonna bring on my co-host nick casos the sports betting personality of you better you bet and we're gonna go through and talk about some of our pickups from the past week and then talk about some things that are gonna be coming out this week hopefully all of you were able to take some w's in the past weeks what's going on Sean, we got Jermaine in the house and KCON 312. Good to see you all in here. Let's bring in Costos. What's going on, Costos? What's going on? How are we doing tonight? It was a great show last week. Pumped to be back this week talking about more releases. Yeah, it's um, I can't believe we're almost to August, to be honest with you. I don't know where the time has gone. Yeah, it's unfortunate because like my busy season for work's about to start and that's pretty much the worst thing ever. But yeah, try to enjoy <laughs> summer as best we can and uh, some fire releases to go over this week and a couple new things to show off, which is ex which is exciting. Exactly. I know we're going to miss you during the busy season, but uh, it's great that you're going to be busy and really staying on top of the sport so that we know who to bet for. <laughs> For sure. And like, by the way, that bet I gave out last week to Seth ended up winning with uh, the under in game six of the NBA finals. Not to humble brag or pat myself on the back. I literally, when I saw the score cost, I immediately thought of you and thought to myself, I probably should put some money down on, on that. I maybe yes, actually should've. would have made out just because yeah. you are the go-to guy that we should all confide and trust in. For those I of agree. you who missed out on Shade Selects last week, Costos actually knew who was going to win uh, in the championships for the NBA. And um, for those of you who betted against him, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You were, you were losers if, in case, if, if that happened. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I hope you won a bunch of money. I don't know if you put money down on the game, but um, hopefully you made out. <laughs> you know what, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to X out and try to get back in because this is coming up all blurry and I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, you're so just, I'm, you're I'm a little fuzzy. Back. We'll wait for you. Don't worry. What's going on, Lord Blackwood? <laughs> just your last name, Vinny from Nebraska. Okay, that's a, that's a cool last name. What's going on, Cook? John Martinez in the house. Always good to have you in here. Let's see if we can get a clear costos on here. There we go. All right. Oh, wait. I was like, you're a little fuzzy, but maybe it's just my eyes right now. Maybe my no, eyes was, warm up from the well, lights. It was, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was pretty messed up. It was pretty messed up. What's going on, Busta the Kid? Alejandro in the house. Good to see you all in here. Costos and I are just 
getting warmed up for the evening. We got a special guest coming on here in about 25 minutes, but we're going to jump into what we copped last week here shortly. Again, we are just talking about some sports betting stuff because Casas is the man when it comes to who you should be betting on in the sports world. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. What's going on, Jesus Christ? RX Fly Fishing. Good to see you all in here. Kendall in the house. What's up, Jules? We got a first timer. I love seeing first timers in here. Be sure to smash that like as well. And if you're a first timer in here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Definitely going to enjoy the content that we put out week to week. Oh, you had money on the Lakers and the Nets going to the finals. Whoops. Well, I mean, no. to be to be fair, like those are winning bets if the players stay healthy. So I don't think those are those are bad bets. I also had money on both of those teams. What can you do? What do you think about the uh, Olympic team losing to France? Yeah, I think they're probably in some trouble. They're probably still going to win, but like that's that's pretty bad. And like they're playing terribly, and like the coach is kind of being an ass about everything. I actually think Iran's going to cover the spread against them tomorrow. Or Iran, Iran's a forty point underdog. I think Iran's going to find a way to not lose by more than forty points. But we'll see. That's coming up tomorrow. I just I didn't realize how many people are on the injured list right now. It's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, but like uh, it's like Iran's <laughs> on the team, Lillard's on the team. Like there that's are. True. They, sh they should be Kevin blowing Durant. teams out. They got, if you have Kevin Durant, you should be beating everybody. So it's well, annoying. He was, that they he was hurt for the longest time too. <laughs> yeah, torn Achilles. But uh, listen, played last was the, was the was the best player when he was healthy in the NBA playoffs this year. So, it, so they, gonna... they 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 got to get their shit together. It's disappointing so far. Got to represent the U.S. Got to bring us back. So, uh, do you do sports betting on the Olympics too? I don't even know. Yeah, we yeah, we, da we dabble in the Olympics. We dabble a in that bit. a little bit. A little bit. So, uh, how has your last week of pickups gone? Have you been keeping it, was, it light, or are you getting some yeah, clothes so, adding to your collection? Well, I did. I think I teased this. Um, I don't know if it was last week or two weeks ago, but I finally got it in my size. So. I know that you, Marissa, are a big fan of the of the brand Casablanca, right? Oh yeah. Like it's like high end, like silk, like real, like wacky, funky t shirts with all sorts of like cool graphical prints on them. It's awesome. So I think I teased a couple of weeks ago that I ordered like a bootleg Casablanca shirt, like a cabana shirt. Um, I say bootleg because Casablanca shorts cost like 750 bucks and this was like a hundred. I mean, it's, I'm still kicking myself, Casas, because it went to 70% off the silk. It was like a shell print button down with matching shorts. And I just, I waited a day, I went back and they were all sold out. And I was just like, yeah, Casablanca fire. So I cop this, the shorts to match. It's a cabana set. So it's got like this tiger on it. It's a zip up. Tombolo is the name of the brand. So there's literally like- I love that. I really oh, love yeah. that. Yeah. So it's got the orange on it and green on it. So yeah, this shirt is, is awesome with a bunch of different prints on it. Like, like this tiger here. Crouching Tiger, I like hidden that. Tiger is the name of the shirt. Yeah. So Crouching this Tiger, shirt. Hidden Dragon. Yeah. Hidden, yeah. So I'm going to wear that to the beach, I'm sure, or to the pool. Or So I'm looking forward to that in August. <laughs> and uh, my other big purchase here, you know, I would declare that it's um, it's bucket hat season, ascot season. I got a new I season. I love, I love a good bucket hat. I'm not going to lie. I do love a good I, bucket hat for sure. I have a new season, a new season. I think these are going to be really hot in the fall. And that's pendants for people that don't have a pendant. Ah, I got this guy right here. Pendants. So I like, like that. The, so the ideal length for the pendant, I feel like, is right at like the start, like of your chest for guys and for for, for for women also. But I think this since I'm a guy, talk about it for men. So I really love this look to wear. Like if you have a like a, an open button down with like a, a tank top underneath, you wear it with just a t-shirt. But anything with like an over shirt open, I feel like this is a great look. Or just it's over nice, a t-shirt or subtle. casual long sleeve. And, but it adds like such a little bit of panache to your look. So yeah. I'm a big fan of the pendant. So I just cop this and I'm going to wear it a lot all year round, not just in the summer, but I'm excited. Where, where did you find that one from? So me and my girlfriend got this on Etsy. Um, oh, on Etsy. I, wanted... I love Etsy. They've got really unique stuff. So I wanted like St. Michael the Archangel was my dad's favorite uh, saint who kills the devil in Revel Book of Revelations for people that are like religious scholars. So this is St. Michael there, the Archangel. Is the what, and movie, then what movie was that on too? Was Keanu Reeves supposed to be that or something? I feel Probably. like they did, a, they did a movie on it or something like that. Probably, but I'm uh, I'm jacked for this pendant and I wanted it. You can get pendants in any style, obviously, but I kind of <laughs> like this square style here. 
like I that. like it. I got to yeah. give a quick little uh, DJ horn to John Martinez for this donation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the nine ninety nine donation. Pair character jumping up and down saying number one fan. I love how it says it on here that way without showing the character. <laughs> and uh, we've got a, another special person here tonight. We've got Ludo in the house. What is good, Ludo? I gotta work What's on up? my French. <laughs> What's up, Ludo? Good to, good to see you in here, Ludo. <laughs> but I like I like the uh, match with that tiger button down with the pendant. I think that's uh, a great combination for the summertime. Oh yeah, and like like it's like I wore the dinner on Saturday night like a long sleeve shirt like this one like a long a summer long sleeve t shirt with a light material, just mm -hmm. with short pair of all white Air Force ones, but. You put the pendant out on that, and all of a sudden, like it just adds like a new dimension to the look. So again, pendant is a little something. Yes, Lord Blackwood pendant. is saying Saint Michael was on the Supreme Fleece that dropped this year. Yeah, guess Love we got to get you that fleece too. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, I mean, listen, Saint, Saint Michael literally like kills the devil in the Book of Revelation, so he's pretty badass. All right, what's up, nine hundred one the Gamer? Thanks for jumping in here as always. <laughs> Good to see everybody in here. We're just kind of going through our pickups for last week. Costos got some nice Casablanca-esque type button-down pieces. Tombolo. Tombolo is the name of the brand. T-O-M-B-O-L-O. It's basically will, like, like Casablanca. I will say, Costos, it is good to get Casablanca on sale during like the end of the summer season. You can get like some good deals on Essence and Farfetch. Like, you'll get a few pieces but you just have to be patient which is hard and then like snag it at the right moment i've never honestly seen it go past 60 percent. i think that's and like as high uh, as i've seen it it's a great point by you and i just want to say this because like a lot of brands will do this i may does it casablanca does it not necessarily casablanca but other like you said like like um like like far fed like some of these other websites will do it where once we hit end of july Brands are looking to move their inventory that hasn't sold and yes. you will get end of season sales. And like, I understand that it's August and there's only like a month left in quote unquote summer in the Northeast. It's usually pretty warm in September. And then you have these items for next year. So I actually think this is a great time to buy stuff, not only it's for this year, but then you can buy stuff and hold it for next year. So like I've been saving up a little bit actually, and I'm going to go ham on some purchases once these end of season sales come out, then you're, you're set for August and September with your wardrobe and you have a bunch of stuff to wear next summer as well that people haven't seen you in all summer because you haven't gotten it until the end of summer. So I actually think this is exactly. a great time to shop for clothes. And usually, you know, what I say is you should definitely work on shopping off season. So buying yes. kind of winter coats and things like that during this time. I know it's brutal in New York trying to like shop for anything that has to do with a thick coat because it is it was brutal tonight honestly when i was walking to get dinner i couldn't handle it i was just like why is it so hot but like no one knows the difference like like people are not like up to speed on like for casablanca for instance like if you if you buy one of last season's items no one's gonna be like oh well look at him walking around in like uh like spring summer 19 like no one's gonna say that and like it looks just as good and if you get it at a discount and it's like new I think it's an absolute no-brainer. So I think this is a great time, and you're so right about what you're saying, buying stuff off-season, because like, no one knows the difference. No one really knows. It's no funny. one does. I mean, and if they do, that's kind of psychotic, to be really, honest with yes. you. Yes. <laughs> that is a little psychotic. But t speaking of deals, actually, I was going to show you a shoe that I got 70% off, and this is the Comme des Garçons uh, Nike collab that they did on this sneaker. And I just think that, you Pretty know, cool. this was a really cool shoe, but it was just above the price point that I really wanted to pay. So I waited for it to drop in price and I got it for 70% off. And it's just, you know, it's different. It is. Kind of is giving me like fear of God vibes in a sense. Yeah. But I wanted it in black. They obviously didn't have my size. That's the other thing is they start to sell out on sizes. But for a summer shoe, I feel like this is kind of just got a different cool look to it. And I just love Calm Day Garcon and the collabs that they do with Nike. I just feel sometimes they're a little overpriced in my opinion. So didn't sell out. I waited. Luckily got the 70% off on these bad boys. So I saved a lot of money on it and happy that I waited. You do things the right way. And those are pretty awesome, I think. I like that they're different. 
I try. I really, I really try. But I did want the black ones, Costo, so I was sad about that. Because it kind of has almost like a boot look to it in the black colorway. But, you know, white's good. We're in the summertime, springtime. It's going to be a nice, fresh look. Uh, where do I start next? Actually, let's talk about the fear of God, California. Please, I've been I've been looking forward to this hearing you, and I watched your videos on them. Uh, but I still want to. I I'm fascinated to hear what you have to say right now about these. I am absolutely obsessed with these. I know the hundred ninety five dollar oh. price point seems insane. What's going on? I am I. Good to see you. And here, everyone, we've got some, we got Trump. You're going to make me cop here. them. I, I, I have bids on SockX for like three different colorways of these. And like, you're going to make up and I'm going to have to buy them now after hearing you talk about this them. cream colorway, though. It's so beautiful. But the best part about this, it's insanely light. It's so light. I don't know. Like they literally created this patented material called extra light. And I was literally balancing my foam runners with my slides. And it is maybe less than half of the weight of both of wow. those. Wow. So it feels like you're honestly kind of walking barefoot, but you have something on your foot in a strange way. And I love that they added this kind of separate ventilation piece here, just because, you know, this material, there's nothing in there perforated whatsoever. So, you know, your feet kind of might suffocate a little bit with not having any breathability in the frontal portion. But, you know, it was really thought well through to kind of leave that ventilation section on the side there, which is really cool. And there's actually some gripping going on here so that your feet don't slide because I, I would probably want to wear these a lot of times without having to wear socks. And so I would never you know, want to wear socks with them. That's just me. Like I would never, I would wear these as yeah. like loafer substitute, honestly. Yeah. Like this is a great loafer substitute, but it is nice that they kind of thought about that because on like the easy slides, for instance, my feet will slip back and forth if they get sweaty at all and so... i almost broke my ankle wearing them like 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 a month ago <laughs> so <laughs> i feel you that's hilarious i mean i mean and he probably didn't think about that when he was creating that material you know the eva foam he was probably like oh this looks sleek i don't want to mess with the texture of it but i like that the texture is different on the inside here just because you know the thought process of this was so that your feet aren't slipping all over it um but this was a really cool colorway. I think, too, if you have a lot of pieces from either his Fear of God mainline or just his Essentials Diffusion line, he literally color coordinated it like Ronnie Feig does where, you know, Smart. he's dropping a bunch of colorways, but it matches whatever capsule he's launching in that moment in time frame. And this is literally like the buttercream color scheme of like the sweatpants that I have, the sweatshirt that I have. It matches it perfectly. And it's honestly because this isn't obviously the same material as the sweatpants or the shorts or any material even close to the materials that we have. So to get it that close is pretty crazy. I have a, I have a comment and a question about them. The comment is like, I know people are like, oh, like there are a lot of money. Like, like slides are selling for more than that. Foam runners are going for more than that. So like, I, I don't have a problem with the price point for them. It's like, you know, like I'd be willing to pay it. So for me, it's whatever. If you're willing to pay 200 bucks, 250 bucks for Yeezy slides, then you know, the, why, why not pay it for these? Well, and that's what I think is yeah. crazy is that if you go online now and you look at the foam runners, you look at the slides, they are actually going above the price point. Of really? Okay. I haven't looked in a little retail. bit. Okay. It's insane. I mean, depending on the color and the size, they're going for 200 to $500. I mean, yeah, 500, I'm not doing 200. I would do 500. I'm not doing. Um, so I know we have a question on the screen, but I want to ask this just real quick here. Yeah. So in terms of styling them, like I said, like for me, at least I look at those as like, if I have like a polo shirt and like a nice pair of like, like cream short pants or khakis or something, I look at those as like loafer substitute. My girlfriend's like, those yes. are, you, can't, you cannot wear those as a loafer the, substitute. These are definitely like a loafer substitute. I think right? this is like the new generation. And the great part them. about this is I did get them a little dirty, but they're so easy to clean. 
I don't know like what it is. Probably, with this right? Like slides, probably, right? Like easy slides are easy to clean. Yeah. Probably. I mean, the same thing, you right? know, you get some dirt on it. I come home, I just wipe it off with a microfiber towel, and it comes off really easily. So somebody's asking how durable the sole is. So I'm definitely gonna have to wear these for like a 30 day trial and get back to all of you, just because I literally just got these last week. So I've only had a few days to wear them, but definitely, you know, it's durable for how light it is. I don't know like who came up with this technology, but it is insane how light the material is. I'll be interested to see as well um, this part, if it's going to split like my Yeezy Slides did, because it's actually half the thickness, which is crazy. It's much thinner than the slide is actually. Let me just pull a slide. Do you agree that this is, it, it, but like my issue now is that like, this is a summer shoe in my opinion. Like I don't think you can wear, like maybe in the fall also. Actually, you know what I said? I So I have a video coming out. Everybody stay tuned for it. But I did a comparison between the foam runners, the slides, and the Californias because I what? feel like out of all three of them, this is actually a more all-over seasonal shoe because you can okay. wear socks with these. And just the fact that your foot isn't as open, you know, and also for us ladies, like if we don't want to wear socks, you don't have to have your nails done perfectly. You know, you don't have to worry about that part. Uh, but also I would see myself probably like I had styled it with some wool socks. So as we transition okay. into cooler seasons, I feel myself like wearing a nice thick sock with these just because you wear dress socks room. with them. You think like for like, if you're I, going to like some kind of function or something like I, like, I want to wear these. Mine. I love that. Cause I want to wear these. I, I, I want to dress up with these. I don't want to dress these down. That's just me. I literally, I, I wore a pair of dress socks in my styling section on this video. So I paired it with just a nice Badass. dress sock that was in an ivory color. I think the great part about this is as the seasons do change, you can still really be creative with your sock game because you're going to see a lot of your sock, obviously, depending obviously on what pants you wear. But you can really play around with this. And also all the color selections that he came out with, I think, are just good colorways that are going to go all season round. So spring, summer, fall, winter, you name it, you can wear is that it. cement? Is, so this is actually uh, concrete. Okay, cool. I like I the cement. Know. So but the thing is, when I saw the picture for this, I actually thought it was darker than it was going to be in hand. This is actually a lot lighter. So um, And the cement's the, even lighter than that one, right? That was the one I had my eye on. Cement is even lighter than this one, yeah. yeah. So the concrete was supposed to be the darkest shade that he was launching. Uh, so I was a little disappointed in the fact that this wasn't as dark as I expected it to be. Uh, but I still think this is a nice gray. I mean, it's going to go, obviously, with all of my Heather Gray sweats that I have in his line. I don't think you could really go wrong. I do think, though, that if you were thinking that the cement was going to be the same color, it may be a little off. Okay. It may be actually lighter than it is. That's what person. I was looking for. I was looking for like that, like whitish gray, like almost. I think that's the cement was the closest to what I was looking to. So yeah, people are asking if these are comfortable. I think these honestly out of the slides and foam runners, I hate to say, but these are probably one of the most comfortable out of the three of them. Uh, and I think what it has to do with is, you know, just the shape and the fit of it is really comfortable, but also it's so light. This is literally the lightest pair of slide-ons you will ever wear. I don't think that something as light as this even exists. And I can't even really include, I guess, a flip-flop in this. That would be the only thing I would say would be lighter. But I mean, obviously this is not the build of a flip-flop. Should I cop these like right now? Like I personally think you would love these. And I definitely think that this is something that goes with your wardrobe, specifically Costos. Like, I think this is definitely down the alley of something that you would wear. But also just color wise, like these go with everything and anything. I love it. I love it. I think it might be like, honestly, like, I don't want to say it's the best release of the summer because like there are other shoes that I really like also. But I, I give huge shout out to Jerry Lorenzo for these. I think that they're pretty, obviously he like took inspiration from Kanye, but they're awesome. 
So somebody's asking, so just so everybody knows, I know it can be a little complicated, but this is actually the fear of God mainline division. So there is the essentials division, which is the diffusion line, but this is from Jerry's mainline fear of God, which is why the price point is a bit steeper. I think if, you know, he does come out with a fear of God essentials diffusion option, it'll probably be closer in price point to what the slides and the foam runners are going for at a 60 to $85 price point. But since this is from his main line, and these are also made in Italy, just so you know, you can see that on the inside there. So definitely some high Italian quality that's going into these bad boys. <laughs> can I can I ask your opinion on something just because I trust like like you're like the way like you pair stuff together and your thoughts on colors. If someone yeah. were to get those like which color do you think is the more is the most versatile? Is the cream, the cement? I personally think that the cream is okay. probably one of the most versatile. Uh, obviously, I wear a lot of gray, um, but I think it depends, honestly, on what kind of clothes you wear a lot of. So if you're somebody, you know, like the one issue I would have is I don't see myself wearing this with like an all black look. I see myself yeah, cream with wearing, all black is tough. Yeah. Yeah, like that that that's a little tough. So then I would say I'd rather go probably with like the darker option in this concrete colorway if you're somebody who wears all black all the time. And that's kind of why I wanted to get the two colorway options just because nice. you know I can kind of split it up and when I decide to wear kind of darker shades, I'll pair it with this. And then when I want to wear kind of lighter shades, I'll pair it with this. So I actually paired this with like a nice cream button down linen shirt and I tucked that into the buttercream essential shorts love it and i feel like that was just like a nice fresh look specifically for the summertime and springtime uh but i would definitely switch this up as we get into the fall like i could see myself wearing this with more khaki colors nice khaki trench coat cream sweaters things like that i dig it i think i'm gonna end up copying so Lord Blackwood is saying that he just dresses more like Cherry when it comes to fear of God. He finds himself less versatile, but that seems to be the point. That's definitely the point. And so you buy all of yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, that that is the name of the game. You know, if they're trying to sell one thing, it's smart to market it for everything. So it's not that they just want you to buy the shoes. They want you to buy everything and they want you to have that entire look, you know. But one thing is, is if you don't want to buy everything, you can always mix and match. Like I didn't have the hoodie with the essentials shorts necessarily. So I just wore a linen cream shirt that was from a completely different brand. So you don't have to feel like you need to be head to toe in all of Jerry's pieces. You can definitely mix and match and work it into the same, you know, kind of look, just like what you did Costos. Obviously Casablanca is extremely expensive, but you can find other brands that are kind of similar and just, you know, still create the same look and the same vibe and no one would know the difference. Yeah, I, like I said, I look at the, those as like like a like a like a Yeezy loafer almost. So it's like, what would you wear loafers with in the summer or in the fall? I think you could replace those with these Californias. That's why I think they're so fire. Like that's it's like an upscale Yeezy. Jesus Christ, where to cop for retail? So unfortunately, you you can't cop these for retail currently. Um, well, unless you're shady, in, in which case you can. Because because I'm what Lord out. Blackwood is saying. I know you guys are funny. Um, but, you know, I do see him dropping more colors as we switch into different seasons. So you just kind of got to stay on top of when he announces on his Instagram. He's really good, actually, at talking about when he's going to be releasing with all of his campaign images. So I'm sure that there's something in the works with, you know, him dropping well, they're coming more out at Nord slides. They're coming out at Nordstrom. They're at some other website, which is escaping me at the moment. But I actually tweeted them and they tweeted me back. They were going to have them. Um, I think that's end of summer, maybe like end of August or September, but these are releasing again at some retailers, both in the United States and abroad. So like that Got is it. going to happen. And like, you're right. You make up a great point. Like he really does on his Instagram, like do a great job of like, this is when letting it's really everybody crazy. know. Yeah. Asking. And he'll literally drop like 20 photos. Like, that's, it's a great point. Like with the California, he posted like 50 times in like three yeah. days. So I'm like, I, I gotta have them. I gotta have I, them. It's like, yeah. if you didn't know he was going to be dropping it, he literally was pumping out the content. It was like every color, every piece paired with some essentials clothing. So definitely, you know, I'll, I'll put on my community board as well. You know, if I do see him start to kind of, 
pop up on Instagram and start to leak some images, but he's he's really good at leaking photos early and, and prepping us all for, you know, the day that the drop is happening. <laughs> You know, I get FOMO now, and I, I know this runs counter to what I was saying before about end of season sales, that like it's almost August and like summer's almost over and like I'm going to buy something and like I'm only going to have a, like, a little bit of time to wear it. I just got to get over it. But I do have that <laughs> FOMO. I, would have, I would have grabbed you a pair, you know, if you had told me. I earlier. thought I was going to get but, them, honestly. Like, but I the was, funny I was part is you tell they... me after. You always tell me after and it's too late. <laughs> Because I'm always fucking pissed and the only people, like, I tell my girlfriend this and she rolls her eyes at me at this point. The only people that I can commiserate with are, are, are you, basically. <laughs> like, I, I text you guys and I'm like, hey, like, this is bullshit. And then you're like, oh, actually, I got two pairs. I know. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me earlier, Costas? I would have put one of your pairs in the cart, but. I thought I was, I thought I was going to get that. I didn't think they were going to sell out in three minutes, but, you know, I, I mean, guess. I think that is, me. that is the thing with most people is they assume that when Jerry is dropping something that it's just going to kind of sit. But honestly, it's not even enough time to think about what size and color you want. By the time you've already been processing what color, what size you want, it's, it's almost like, you know, okay. <laughs> I took the computer to my girlfriend and I was like, do you like this color or this color? She's like this one. I'm like, I agree. I go to buy them. They're sold out. My bad. No, there's no time, Costa. There's that's why no put, that's time. Why, it's when crazy. He, when he puts out those photos, the problem, too, is he doesn't really say sometimes what colors are what, and that can get confusing. So you kind of have to have an idea. Okay, this is the picture I like. This is the color that I'm going to go with. Because if you are thinking about what color you are or what size you are, that's why I actually put up a video on sizing for these because there's no half sizes. And it's an interesting fit. And the difference between, you know, full size is pretty dramatic on these. So you definitely will want to know what size you are. The lucky part is, is even though, you know, like this is a size 40, this is a size 39. Uh, so you can kind of see how big of a difference it it's, is. It's size. a pretty big difference. That's a pretty it's big a pretty difference. pretty big difference. But, you know, I feel like even though these are a little bit bigger, I can wear a thicker sock and it'll still work. You know, okay. I have way extra, way more extra space in the back. But, you know, luckily with these, it'll work because, you know, this opening here, it's if it's too small where you're going to run into some issues on these. And someone asked, like, how does the size, like, it's Italian sizing. So I know that yeah. 42 is a 10. I'm a 10 or a 10 and a half. So I would get size 42. I guess I could also rock 43, but 42 well, would be my And size. for me, I'm a 40.5 um, in Euro sizing. And uh, that's why I thought this was actually going to fit me. But I actually fit a 39 better. So... Interesting. I think they, they do run a little bit on the larger size for sure. There's a right, lot so of extra space. 42. Okay. Yeah. I would say size down. The, the website also does say to size down as well. So maybe 39. You know, the thing with Jerry's main line and essentials line, everything seems to be oversized in a sense. So I'm like, okay, so I guess he went with the oversized, you know, whole theme with the, the slides as well. So. Yo, the difference in resale between the nines and the tens of the 41s and 42s is insane. So you may just have to go go with the size that's more affordable. Cost. <laughs> I mean, again, it's like the amount of money that just gets spent is just insane. The price of the price of looking good, right? It is what it is. Mikey B. Soul is saying the oak colorway is going for 250 on StockX for a size 46. Yeah, I mean, depending on the colorway, I feel like, you know, I think the cream is one of the ones that's doing the best. But obviously, the colorway is going to have an effect on how much it's going for resale, but also your size okay. is going to have an effect as well. Uh, I do think the larger sizes flew, so that's why you had issues, Costos. I think I was more fortunate just because I do have a smaller size, and, you know, they kind of lasted maybe two minutes longer than yours did but <laughs> yeah the cements in my size just went for 250 was the was the last sale but the current bid right now is 270 so i'm gonna sit this out and for a little bit and see if i can say it yeah i don't know what i'm being so cheap and for it. I, like but i bucks, also feel like you would be able to cop it if you just you know hop on you know what color you want next time he releases them yeah. or because you know i want them for the august though i want to i want to rock them like oh. Well, it's still sunny out. Yeah. Like, wait. that's the whole thing. No, I, wanna, right. well, I, wa I want a pair of nice pair of shorts with, like, a button down and those bad boys in place <laughs> of loafers. That's what I want to do. And I right. can't. 
Yeah, so these, I think some people are, are asking the retail on these. They were $195. All right, next up on the list are these lovely Miami babies. What do you think about the South Beaches, the LeBrons? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of LeBrons in general, but I mean, this is a pretty iconic colorway, obviously. So, I mean, I'm not going to hate on it at all. I wouldn't wear it because I don't wear basketball shoes. But like, and I know we'll talk about this a little, little later with another sneaker that's coming out, but green and pink, especially like the South Beach Miami colors is such like an iconic, I feel like color combination. Mm -hmm. So there's no hating to be had. I mean, it's they're they're dope. That's that's a big time statement. Uh, I like them I a lot. I will say the quality too, Costas, if you can see just like that kind of tumbled leather that they've got going on. It's actually pretty high quality and the fly wire looks really cool. They actually, you know, went all out with the detail on this one. So I got to give it to them on that. Definitely can't see this, you know, on images and pictures. So that's why I'm trying to give everybody this close up imagery just to see how high quality the materials actually are on this. And this is a really cool detail too. Yeah, that see actually the lion there with the the glowing eyes. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull that down a little bit so everybody can kind of see it a little bit better. LeBron's such a tryhard, though. That's just. <laughs> but you know, I'm a fan of the colorway. The only issue Fair I enough. have with these is they're heavy. Yeah. I almost feel like I'm kind of wearing ankle weights on my feet. They are definitely. Yeah. It's a heavy one. You know what I don't <laughs> want to wear like that. This is definitely not the shoe I want to be rocking in the summertime out here just because it is so hot and this is so heavy. I feel like this is definitely a shoe that will kill me in the 90 degree humid days out here. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like. I, but it I, may make I, my I, ankle yeah. stronger as well. So that could be another thing. You know, I've seen girls actually walk around the city with ankle weights on. So maybe that could be a new thing. What the <laughs> fuck is that about? <laughs> All right, so one of the things I was going to bring up actually is the Kith Monday program. Um, I want to get your thoughts on that up here so we can kind of look at some of the pieces that dropped. Let's see. Don't they have like the, 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 the jersey was kind of cool. Um, so what I liked about it is the way that they did the campaign, they actually have kind of former Olympians. So they had Misty May and Carrie Walsh wearing some of these pieces. And I obviously being a diehard volleyball fan was extremely happy to see them stunting in Kith apparel with what, Very cool. six of their, six of their medals. Um, that's the only reason that it really kind of drew me to all these pieces. It looks like they... Sold out on and, and know, basketball fans. They did a campaign today with Jason Kidd and Darren Williams, which I thought was pretty they cool. They have much on here, so I'm gonna have to actually. Oh, Costos, look. Yeah, listen. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why I, are I, they teasing everybody? They should just take all of this stuff down. Like I've taken on. so many else. Like it. Like it's. Like it really is insane. I, I think that uh, they've got more stuff from the collection that's still going to come out because like they had the kid and Darren Williams thing today with like the basketball. Yeah, teams. they've so been they've been really like dropping different uh, former Olympians. So it's interesting to see, you know, what's going to happen with how this drop is going to happen. But I do love that they use Misty May and Carrie Walsh. Can I just say one other, I, I, one other L that I took this week that was really annoying and I texted you guys about it was the, uh, the para, um, the okay. soccer, the soccer, no, the soccer style skateboard kits for the Olympics. I wanted the Japan oh, one. They sold out in like, that one. they sold out in like 30 seconds on sneakers. It's like, why do I even try for this shit? It's, it's difficult. I mean, depending on how limited the release is, it's just like, you've got to be on there and within seconds, like have all of your credit card information uploaded and everything. But this was the campaign for Misty May and Carrie Walsh. Wow, that is a lot of medals. Pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Yes, it is. Two of the goats. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any of that. I just, I, I'm not a big person when it comes to like wearing Olympic pieces for some reason. I think it's a cool concept and I love what they did with it. And it's like subtle where the kith is, but yeah, I just, I don't see myself wearing it. These are gonna be pretty pricey as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a no, no for me, dog. 
Um, you know what I would do though is if there was something that had to do with Misty May and Carrie Walsh and it was like limited USA like kith piece and it had something to do with them just because like I would buy it because I have some connection to them I think that would have been a cooler concept if Ronnie would have taken the time and instead of just using them as the models actually incorporating them into the actual looks like something about them on the back like some information about how many medals they've won who they beat each year that would be cool yeah i think would have yeah would would reach like an audience i don't think there's any doubt about it yeah but you know i think they've he doesn't give one a fuck out. though he's pushing he's these out left money. and right that's what's going on here we got a donation thank you so much <laughs> Lucy's my mom's name. Shout out to you. Appreciate it. (laughs) Thank you so much, Lucy. Appreciate all the support you've given the channel since day one. Uh, So, yeah, we are going to have Jumperman Chris jumping in here shortly. He's running a little bit behind. But, um, yeah, it uh, has been, you know, pretty successful week. It's been a lighter week, I guess, to say the least. And I'm kind of happy about it. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how you feel, Costos, about everything, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just taking, like, all sorts. I, I, the, the orally new balances are the only ones. I'd actually, like, that's probably, like, a must-have for me. That's probably, like, a shoe that I will absolutely cop, no matter, like, what the resale is. I could see that. So we've got some Space Jam Crocs that are coming out. And Crocs have been, they've been pretty big lately. They're actually booming. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like they are definitely doing some great collabs. Looks like we even have a countdown on here. So let me show you what this looks like. My girlfriend's cousin, my girlfriend has three cousins um, who are all boys. And they all, they wear our Crocs. Like they are like Crocs are Croc huge right all the now. Way. Like and like with the, <laughs> and I forget what these things are called. Like 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 where it's a Space Jam and the basketball Crocs obviously have like the uh, the holes in them where you can like customize them with like your own sort of style, whatever you want to wear. So I think it's kind of cool. Um, for me, these I'm a Yeezy like guy, so I would never wear them. So you've got yeah. you know different customizations that you can add here, which is interesting. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know. I tried Crocs for the first time and I was dissing them for the longest time. Um, I was dating a guy. I think he just left like a bad taste in my mouth at the time. He, I couldn't get him out of Crocs to save my life. No matter what event it was, I mean, going to even a wedding, it was like wearing Crocs. I was just Yeah, like, it's pretty have, awful. I was like, these have to go. I don't know what I need to do to get rid of these, but like, they need to go now. I am sick and tired of seeing you in Crocs, but... I like what Crocs is doing. You know, they're they're being really different and unique with these collabs and, you know, trying to just add these little trinkets that people can have on there. And uh, we have a Nike Dunk High undercover as well that's coming out. So I'm going to pull that up for everybody to see. See what our thoughts are on this. I think it's a nice colorway, to be honest. So what do you think about these? What's going on, Joker Harley? Welcome in. John T won't be able to cop the them Crocs. They're going to be real difficult. Um, it's a nice colorway. It looks like this is actually a high quality leather that they're putting on here. It's almost like the quality of an ambush. I um I like some of the undercover Nike releases. What's the one like the the uh, the silhouette that I'm that's escaping me? But that was like the the black and royal blue pair that I really like. Um. I find to look it up on, I'll be able to find it. But uh, I, I am not a huge fan of these. I don't like shoes that are predominantly black in color. I've said that before. So like for me, it's a pass, but like obviously like the black and red colorway is like pretty iconic. Mar- Marius Johnson's funny. like a uh, pass. <laughs> yeah, it's a pass for me. Undercover waffles is what John, are you talking about the undercover waffles? I love my undercover waffles. I have them in like this royal blue and black colorway and it's no, like the day breaks. Are one of my favorite, the day breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Like these, I think like are pretty the, underrated. Yeah, actually. I have, I have those. I've gotten so many compliments on those and they're one of my favorite sneakers to wear. They're so different. Here they are. Yeah. I think that, I think that is such a slept on silhouette. Pull it up so everybody. And Jun Takahashi is pretty awesome. So. Yeah, like these actually, I got these on sneakers, and you know, the funniest part is they were actually. They sat, there. right? They, they sat, sat for there. a while, right? Yeah. They sat I on regret, there for a while, and then I regret they not act- copying them. 
This is definitely one of those sneakers that I feel like people started to see it on foot. But honestly, this colorway was the best colorway because they started to drop multiple colorways. And out of all the color options, this by far, I think, was the best colorway that they had come out with. And it just, it looks good on feet. It makes your feet look slender, narrow. It's got, you know, this cool back to it, which is They're nice. so slept on. They're sick, right? And, like, no one talked about them when they came out. I think they're fire. I talked about them, Casos. I did an unboxing and styling haul on these. I, I've, been, I've been a fan since day one on these. Love it. But people... You know, slept on them by the time they decided that they wanted them. They were all sold out. And, you know, they were coming out with more colorways. But it just got to a point where it's like, okay, how many colorways are you going to drop? And, you know, are these really good color options? I don't really know. I agreed 100% that that's the best I'm like, do I need to even bring up the Jordan 1 fragment Travis Scott's? I think we've all seen a million pictures on those. Obviously, that is the... Biggest drop of the week, and I'm definitely going to be trying to go for them, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit more limited. I did, at the time, you know, it was, word had it that they were not actually going to be dropping them um, at certain tier zero stores. Oh, we got uh, somebody joining us here. So we're going to actually bring him in in a second, but, um, yeah, so we've got the... Travis Scott Fragments coming out. We'll bring Jumperman Chris in here so everybody can say hello. And uh, we'll talk about some of the other drops that are coming out. What's going on? Oops, your sound. My, oh, hey, there you go. You guys hear me good? We good? Yeah, there you are. All right, sorry, sorry I'm late. Got a, uh, was out with the family uh, and everything, so. Family first, Jumperman Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Jumperman hey. Chris is the best camera setup I think I've ever seen, man. It looks like I'm watching a movie right now. You got oh, that, right? Yeah. We, we got, yeah, we got kinda, Steven been, Spielberg uh, over there. A little, a little upgrade, you know what I mean? Trying to trying to uh, bump up the production a little bit. So <laughs> We got to give you some air horn, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got Jumperman Chris in the house. For those of you who don't know who he is, he's kind of a big deal in the shoe tuber realm on YouTube. So right. you thank you. Haven't heard of him, but I know you all have. Go, go follow him right now. Appreciate. It. <laughs> I, I was, uh, I was kind of like listening to uh, the live while I was driving home, and uh, I know you guys were talking about like some of um, the Fear of God slides, which I'm actually interested in, like just more yeah, like comfortability. These. Yeah, they look, you know, they they look kind of, you know, it's a little plain, but it, it, I, I can see what it, what it could be, like kind of like a foam runner type of deal. Oh yeah, Jerry. Jerry what? was smart on this one. He mm. knew exactly what he was doing. This is the Kanye right should. Time to Kanye should take a break from from Donda and sue his ass because he basically <laughs> ripped off his design completely. Uh, 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 uh. And they're lighter, so I mean, it's literally it, it's so light in comparison to the Easy Slides. Like, I mean, mm. the material is just ahead of its time. To be honest with you, it even says it, it's extra light on the bottom. And I get why they called it extra light. <laughs> and I'm like, I wore I wore uh, the foam runners today at a theme park with my kids today, and they're not that comfortable like some people think it is. They they comfortable at first, but once you start to like kind of move around and you walk around, like it was like eating up my uh, my heels. I was like, oh my god, like really? Did yeah, you have like socks I'm, on? I'm, it's bleeding. It's bleeding. My heels Wait, are bleeding. What, right what shoes were you wearing? The foam runners. Oh, like the foam, wear, oh yeah. yeah, the foam runners, you, I have socks? to wear thick socks. I can't Me too. go without got, socks. I, that's the one thing, I didn't have any thick socks because I always wear, I usually wear like no-shows and the only like thicker big socks I had were Nikes and I thought, you well, can't Those will rip your feet apart, man, if you don't wear socks with those. I've worn like to the pool and like. Okay, we're back on, sorry. <laughs> Was that me? No, it just, you It know... happens like once a week. Roscoe came on, same thing <laughs> happened. You know Roscoe, so I think it has something to do with that Jumperman Chris. <laughs> yeah, yes, you, got, yes, you guys yes. are you guys are breaking the internet over here. <laughs> oh, is Roscoe on? No, 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 no. He he was on the other week helping me with a giveaway and he uh, he crashed the internet when he came on. So it said system error just like it did now with you. So there's some correlation <laughs> between the two of you. I don't know what's going on in the air, but 
just got too much high productivity in uh, the production that you, you've got going on over there. I don't know what camera you're using right now, but it's looking way too clear. <laughs> Uh, it's it's remember we talked I think I, I said we something talked like, about uh, the cameras I, yeah 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 so like I really was trying to get into the Sony and I was doing a lot of research and Sony and gang what, all the way yeah I, I jumped on board with the Sony I jumped on board I was just waiting for that flip screen I've been needing that flip screen that's very vital for me but <laughs> what's going on Ralphie collects he is your biggest fan jumperman chris he, he is he is my brother man that is my homie right there like you know we've been through a lot we actually been me and ralphie we've been knowing each other for a long time too not just like this year for like a couple years now like 2000 see you guys it? traveling your little trio pack yeah 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 so um oh he because he's <laughs> over the west coast and sometimes I, I we link up uh we were we met we saw each other a couple times at sneer con like in california and stuff which, oh, by the way, okay. are you going to uh, are you going to Bay Area? I will be there. I will be in SF. All right, I'll, I'll see you there. I'll be there. You better, you better say hello. Uh, Don't walk past me like you're, I'm a stranger or something. <laughs> no. Don't yeah, treat but, me uh, like a stepchild. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, oh, de we'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely stop by. And everything. Are you guys gonna have like your own like setup and booth like last time? Not going to probably do that again. That was, that was a lot, but mm -hmm. probably going to just have a mini team of people going with us. If it wasn't busy season, I know Costos would, uh, would be out there with us. I would much rather be doing that than actually like working my actual job for sure. <laughs> the radio can wait. Costos must attend SneakerCon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell we'll tell my we'll tell my agents just to tell them like listen can't work for like a couple months gotta go around the country talking about sneakers I would love it I would love oh, it I don't know yeah. if it's gonna happen you'd be like uh that's a that's a no go for me <laughs> so Jefferman Chris tell us your story I know that I, there's maybe one or two people who don't know about you know your background how you got into sneaker YouTube. Do you want to give us oh, a little? Yeah, sure. Uh, I remember, yeah, for sure. For sure. Like uh, I've I've told the story a couple of times. Um, what got me into sneaker YouTube is uh, you guys remember the Air Jordan Elevens? How it used to be like the hyped up shoe during Christmas time. Like it was crazy. Like it caused like you know breakage in like uh, like the malls oh, and yeah. stuff every year. Yeah, so going crazy. The one year it was the Gammy Elevens to come out, and I was I kept having like bad flashbacks of those. Like I don't want to go through that again. So I I bought a pair early over the internet, not knowing that you know what could happen. Like I didn't know anything about like fakes back then or anything like that. And then I saw a YouTube video of a person was comparing comparing fakes and real, and that's kind of I was like oh okay. And then I found out the the early pair that I got was fake. I was oh, like, oh no! How much yeah. did you pay for them? Well, it was like it was like three, it was like three hundred something plus like okay. shipping and all that. So but like you know, back then that's saying, a lot of money. So that's a lot of money for yeah. You know, back then it was a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like how it is now. It's like that's just regular now. Exactly. But, but, but yeah, yeah that was, that was, that's what you know. I, that's how I learned about that, and then I was start watching more. YouTube videos and, and stuff like that, that kind of motivated me to be like, you know, I was like, man, I, I can do this. I, I want to do this, you know? That's can, the best 300 bucks you ever spent, man. Exactly. You might've got it like, news, but it helps <laughs> right. you do what you're doing now. Yeah, right. I mean, that's just, like, that was just kind of like the tipping stone of like, just kind of escalate, so. Um, thank God they were fakes. We wouldn't have yeah. you on here maybe today, right? <laughs> right, I mean, if I didn't get scammed, that probably wouldn't have been here today. Who knew, who knows, you know? Cause <laughs> like I said, that kind of just, cause I didn't know about like these, like YouTubers doing like um, videos of shoes. I was like, oh, what the heck? And I just kept watching, you know, it gets addicted. You watch one person, you watch another person, you watch another person and then so on and so forth. And then eventually I was like, you know, I can do this. I want to do this too, you know? Like, <laughs> so I, that's it. And I just started to pick up a camera and I just kind of just, just did it and then it just here we are you know here you are part of the addiction that we're all a part of mm, we're in it yeah. together at least right <laughs> yes for sure but uh and you I've, travel more than probably anyone that i have seen in the youtube space for oh secrets it's like how, it's been, how many trips have you taken just in the past few weeks after SneakerCon, I know SneakerCon was like, it was back to back. It was literally the same, it was the same weekend. It was uh, Orlando, then I had to go to Indy 
that was like literally right after sneaker con i believe i was in atlanta i had to go down to atlanta then back to chicago and then it was like oh i'm gonna be in miami this weekend so if you guys come through miami then next week after that i'll be in tampa uh the week weekend after that i'll be in indy and then the weekend after that will be san fran so you got like a you got to show like a tour calendar or something. I got a tour like. going on. Yeah, so I got a tour. Have like on. a a jumper van Chris tour calendar where we can find you. <laughs> it's crazy how much events are going on because I'm getting it's hit up crazy. Uh, a lot because they're like, "Yo, can you come to our show this time?" And I'm like, uh, "I'm kind of going this show," and I already talked to them. I already promised them I was gonna go this show. And, so uh, it's like yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. all landing on the same dates. That's crazy. I know. I know. I, I you know because like. It wasn't like this years before, or maybe I just didn't notice about smaller um, events because I used to just only travel with just SneakerCon only exclusively. Uh, but now with, I guess, with COVID Doors and everything. Doors have opened. Everybody's yeah, like ready open. to party. Mm -hmm. You go on rooftops here in, in New York and everybody's <laughs> on the prowl, man. You just see it in their eyes, the fierceness. It's like, whoa, oh, you've been cooped it's, up for, for way too long. <laughs> Right, right. Is how is, is New York is it a little bit more open up now? It's oh yeah, back right, Costas. Costas, I've think seen it, you with your photos on rooftops, I drinking gotta, your I, cocktails. I feel like it's like back to like the way it was almost, like almost. Completely. Really? Okay. It's been cool. Yeah. That's that's dope. That's that's good to hear. Cause I I never been New York. I always want to go New York. I need Shit, to. Shit, man, you've been, been to been every here? other city like fifty I know. times. I, that's been exactly. to New York. I went to every I went to every city and everything. I didn't. Ne I never oh, been yeah. New York. This is the capital of the free world, man. <laughs> you gotta get the great sneaker culture here. You what gotta are we get to New do York with you, Chris. We well, gotta give that, you a tour. <laughs> it, yeah. Okay. For sure. When we come Full through, we'll tour. Because I was supposed me me and Roscoe we had like we were this was last year like uh be before COVID we were supposed to. Go to New York. He was supposed to hit 50k, and I was supposed to hit 100k, and we we're supposed to hit that same time. And we we're gonna go to New York. That was our plan. And of course, COVID happened, and that kind of just things definitely changed a lot. Killed everything. But hey, you guys have surpassed those numbers, so now it's a bigger celebration, I guess. Now yeah, he's yeah, gonna exactly. hit 100k. Hopefully, you'll be at 200k, right? <laughs> well, hopefully, just get double to double down. 150 by this. Hopefully, get to 150 by the end of the year. Hopefully. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're missing out not being in a city like this. I mean, Costas and I are lucky just because, you know, we are able to go into amazing stores to pick up shoes just because we've got Jersey so close to us as well. So you've got kind of all these different states that are easy to drive to. So if you really want to pick up a pair and are desperate, you can actually go outside of New York even to be able to cop pairs out here, which is nice. It seems like endless op like resources out there, it, feels, it seems like. Like it's it just in this, like you, like literally, if you don't want to make content, is because you're not trying, you're, you're not trying or something. You can easily make content every day in New York if you want to. Every day, and I mean, we've got every tier store out here, and yeah. uh, <laughs> as far as you know, drops go, you'll hear about people only dropping at tier zero stores. We've got a ton of tier zero stores out here and not to mention the orange shores, which are skate shops, which are extremely exclusive. We have those all over New Jersey, all over New York. Mm. And so, you know, just having the availability and options to be able to cop more exclusive shoes, you can enter so many more raffles out here. Mm. Which is, you know, it's it's nice because it's so hard to get anything online these I know. days. Is New York, are you guys getting the, the Travis Fragments? Are you guys getting those? Apparently, I mean, Tier Zero stores are supposed to be getting them now. I know Word had it the other week that Tier Zero stores weren't happening and they didn't want to, you know, go through any backdoor options. So <laughs> hopefully, you know, we may be seeing some of those dropping at certain stores and seeing some raffles. But I don't know if, like, stores like Kith are going to be getting it or Concepts or anything like that. So... Fingers crossed it's, they are. <laughs> there that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough release, I feel like. It's gonna be like one in the one in the books, definitely for sure. I, I held it be. at uh Seeker Con, so maybe that's did gonna you? Be yeah, out. yeah, yeah. We, we I did. held one there. We <laughs> held one there. I touched yes, we it. Saw one there. You know what? I should have um, just did the unboxing right then and there. You know, I should have <laughs> just made that happen. For the content I really should sure. have. So, uh, yeah, so Kith actually has a uh, raffle in the app right now. So those of you who are able to pick up in-store at Kith, we've got Kith Brooklyn and Kith Soho out here. So for those fortunate ones that are near to a Kith, they will be dropping the Travis Scott Jordans this week. Hmm. 
Oh, I need the... some kith. I need some kith lock. I bought so many kith pieces last week. I bought like half of your clothing line, kith. Come on, Ronnie Fig. Give me That's the how I say shoe. Kith. I, I've been say, I used to call it Keith. Keith. <laughs> Keith, yeah. That's <laughs> okay. But, you know, that's a, Ronnie, that's a Ronnie doesn't accent. give a fuck. I yeah, feel like exactly. I'm the only person. I want, I'm going to pass on those. I feel like I'm the only one. Like everyone loves them. Really? Is there yeah. no hype? You don't have the hype beastness in you? I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge Jordan 1 fan. And like, I, that's I why like we love Costos because he, he goes against the Jordan 1 trends over here, Chris. So it, it's refreshing. Oh. And if I had a choice, like the the other, like the, the Mocha Travises, the Mocha Travis ones, I feel like are a better shoe than this one. Just my personal opinion. I like yeah, the yeah, Travis is better yeah, than um, this. This is just, it's just like, we just haven't had a Travis one in a while, you know? And um, it's something refreshing to where it's like, never seen a, cl a triple collaboration. Like This is, you know, crazy. Like I would never thought this would ever happen, you know? A Travis fragment and Jordan, you know, like that's, who would ever the, the, the double collab? Like, do we even need that? That's just too much right. on one shoe. <laughs> Why not? Like, like Travis, he could have just made his own. This could have been, been fine. It would have been fine. But Fragment was like jumping on it over the top. Like exactly. Just, you're just kind of making more thing, hype. Like, why? Why <laughs> exactly? Why? <laughs> but not not as like a bad like why is it? You know, uh, but it's more like you're gonna do that for us like you know like <laughs> like what did we really do so we're, special we're like what did we do to get these yes like you know you finally feel kind of blessed I, um how you guys feeling about like l the lows and the highs i know some people are saying a lot, i will take either like lows, listen i'm trying to take <laughs> whatever i can get if people are like 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 we actually have an option to choose right like <laughs> right right you're just lucky to cop one. I will take either a high or a low. I'm just hoping that I can get one of the two. And the mochas, I actually thought like you, there's a case to be made that the lows were actually nicer than the highs. And like I don't feel that normally, but with the other ones, I kind of feel like the lows were like just as nice, if not nicer. Like yeah, you, you think I don't the, know. Like the, OGs is, the OG lows is better than the highs. On the mochas silhouette is on, what on, on the Travis mochas. Oh, yeah. on the Travis's, yeah. yeah. Um I know I've I've been seeing actually a lot of people rocking the lows around the subways lately. Um, I think also it's preference. Like I'd rather kind of wear low tops in the summertime here in New York, just because. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, when I... you come here in the summer, it is it's brutal. The humidity and the heat <laughs> and the the hotness from the buildings and everything, and then you start smelling the trash out here because that heats up. It's like literally a sauna. I hear it's stories of uh, of like New York of like how hot their winter or hot their summers are and how really cold their your winter is i'm like we have the extreme well, there? yeah it's some yeah it's some bullshit there's no doubt about it but like <laughs> but it's the greatest I mean, city in the world but the exactly. weather fucking sucks yeah, exactly no exactly that that's what keeps us here <laughs> it's not the weather to say the least we get like good weather i feel like for a few weeks and then it's gone mm. that's it yeah yeah the shit sucks yeah, yeah. It's, I think the, actually this summer is nice. brutal out there it's like it's so bad even like here i'm in kentucky it's very humid humid so mm -hmm. it's it's been i feel like it's been like super hot so when you're out there you're going to all the stores yeah. picking up the the shoes live i do that out <laughs> i did it for the mochas i remember i won five raffles can you believe that so I uh, literally, I, I was Jordan everywhere. Jordan 1 mochas or Travis mochas? You want five mochas? Not the Travis mochas. Oh, just, about just to say. Just, no. I was like, Travis man, I need to move out of New York. Holy moly. I hear the, the New York <laughs> resellers is on another level. Like, it's, the reselling out there is crazy in New York. It's insane out here. I mean, it's just the stores in general. There's so many reseller stores everywhere out here. I mean, it's, mm. it's a huge part of the game out here. And also that makes it difficult to to go and get shoes so especially like first come first serves like where they will unload whatever shoes and get picked up for the day like just say goodbye to those shoes oh i've been back door in front of myself multiple times on that one so yeah, i'm definitely not built for all that just I, it's just too much <laughs> it's frustrating it's time consuming and it's frustrating so right, i don't even exactly. go to those anymore i've i've learned the hard way way too many times and it just it kills you Day by day. <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah, Kentucky. How how's uh, the game out in Kentucky? 
I mean, you know, it's really small out here. The, you got some, you know, some resellers, stuff like that. It's just like kind of anywhere else. Your inventory is not nearly as much. I remember my, bo my boy, uh, shouts to Wavy, or uh, Orchard Beach, if anyone wanted to say. He's over, for, he's from the Bronx. He came to Kentucky for uh, Army, and he was like, Yo, I didn't think I was gonna get these raging bulls. You guys only had three stores to choose from. I'm like, how many is it in New York? He's like, oh, like twenty. I was like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, three is usually good enough, right? He's like, right. He's like, oh, I didn't know. He's like, I was hoping to get up there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I guess. I mean, it's you know, it's different. You know, you gotta think about three, and yeah, I hope for one of them. <laughs> It's all, all you need at the end of the day, though, right? Yeah, it's like, you just need one. one, right? He's like, yeah, just but New York, you have 20 per, you know, champs and Foot Locker. And I was like, oh, that's different. And then you go outside of New York and you go into New Jersey. That opens up another game there, too, in its own. So you've got mm, both yeah. areas that you can enter raffles for. You just got to, you know, make the time commitment. If you have to actually go and pick up the sneakers, it's it's a rough one. And I I was in Queens. I was in Brooklyn. I went to New Jersey. I went back into Soho. Like, I And these are not like, just over. so you know, like these these are not like easy trips. Like, right. It doesn't these sound easy. It sounds like you got to get on. It's like 40, 45 mm -hmm. minutes to an hour one direction. And then it's like another 40. Oh, and I also had a wedding that day that I had oh. to get to. So that was a fun video filming. Yeah, that. but what's more important, like the wedding or sneakers? <laughs> I mean, yeah, and I actually, I wore the sneakers to the wedding and everybody was just like, I'm pretty so badass to be right now. Yeah, because yeah. It, it was cold. It was Halloween and it was the first day that it was actually cold and everyone had open toed heels on, except for me. I decided to match my orange dress with some orange laces. So I laced my mochas up with orange laces so I could uh, mm -hmm. pass. You know, I was just like, eh, I don't really need another, deals. That was, that was a, another release in the books. Like, that was a lot of craziness to go on to, uh, I, I remember, the Mocha ones. It felt like a Travis release, my goodness. Well, it was way more limited, I think, than everybody expected, too. I think everyone uh -huh. assumed that there was going to be a large amount, and so either people just didn't enter raffles, because I have no idea why I won so many. I was just like... What is going on? I'm hitting everywhere right now. <laughs> it was it was so weird. Um, and yeah, so I just went on a little adventure. I went and got my hair blown out at seven a.m. in the morning. I had people on with me. I'm just like, don't mind me. Just like, get my hair follow blown me. Out. We're to locker, blow it together. <laughs> exactly. And I'm talking about these sneakers. The woman's like looking at me like, are you talking about shoes? You're gonna go pick up five pairs i'm just like, uh, like yeah it's, a, it's kind of a big deal actually <laughs> be like shut up and mind shut up and mind your business like it's new I york like, leave me yeah. alone everybody wants to know because i'm like talking to myself she's probably not had somebody that she's washing their hair and they're like discussing what their day is gonna look like on their phone. that's pretty funny <laughs> like don't mind me just getting my hair washed right now this feels really nice <laughs> Now on to to get to the shoes, but I was it was pretty stressful. I'm not gonna lie, specifically uh, yeah, when they were like, "Do not be late to the wedding, Marissa. Do not be late." Like, hmm. were so you in the wedding? Though? No, this was okay. actually yeah. one wedding that is an extension to a second wedding now. So they're having another mm. big actual wedding this year, but that actually felt like the big wedding. But I guess we're having a bigger one, so. That'll be in uh, October as well. Maybe I can win some more uh, Jordan ones some on the same mo day. More mochas, or uh, whenever the whenever the next release is. Sounds to me like they're game. just looking. They're just looking to get another round of gifts. Sounds like to me. Sounds like a scam. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know how many. It was like baby shower, housewarming party, uh, mm. like bridal party or bridal groom party I, I had so many invitations to like different parties i'm just like what are people doing like no one's working right now how are there so many parties going on and everybody wants like different you know gift lists and things like that so yeah last year was a pretty jam-packed year with different events and this year's been pretty crazy, crazy i would have thought that they would not with everything going on it's, i feel like last year i kind of want to forget last year you know what i mean like mm -hmm. even though it, it helped out a lot of my youtube career and where i'm in today but and again i'm like it, i felt like i just kept waiting to get at the end of the tunnel like you know and we're like oh we're like almost there but sh i feel like we're. It was, it was like oh this is only gonna last for a month and right, you know, yeah. we're, we're in july like wait 
why are we still mask up? <laughs> why I are we still in Corsi? Like, coming back by like, yeah, by like May. And that was obviously it's not. Accurate. Yeah, right. That was too hopeful. Way too hopeful, Gostos. And I literally, I wouldn't have probably started this channel, to be honest with you, if it wasn't for COVID. Like it actually gave me mm. the free time I needed to just make the time to do it. I think I was making a million excuses before I started this channel. And I was just like, you know, I've got the time and freedom to actually start sitting down and putting things onto paper and getting, you know, some goals down on doing an actual channel for the first time. And, you know, it started with me jumping on a bed in the dark with crappy equipment. And here we are now, Chris, talking yeah, about like now. camera equipment. And I've got great lighting. I didn't have great lighting. I was shooting in a the kitchen. Get the nice little start. sign. I need to get that. I need to get this like a sign in the back, like right uh, here. Yeah. I like that. That's that's. It makes it feel more. It looks feels official. Like I like that. Yeah, I wanted it to have an official look. <laughs> but I'm already like moving on to my next backdrop. I'm I'm ready to just abolish all of this and uh, put up my new setup. But I'm not there yet. I need to need to be patient. It, it's <laughs> one crazy. Of the, one of these things. One of these like plastic things that I got behind me. Oh there. yeah, Ca for Casas's show, he's got like a nice little backdrop back there. Then, you like, better, you bet. Then the but old one. But it looks one from like, but it looks like, the, it looks like BET yeah. every time I see it, Costa. So I'm I like, know. wait, are you also hosting BET after this? Yeah, I mean, I would love, to, I'd love to get a second paycheck, but yeah, that's. <laughs> Somebody's asking I, if I if I hit on Travis, are you going to keep them for personal resale? I think I would. Rock. Oh, definitely personal. So definitely I have personal. Travis here. I got another Travis. I got more Travis. I think I have all the Travics except for the original uh, uh, Air Forces, so I don't have those. Which I, I had an opportunity to get one this weekend, but I was like, bro, I'm not trying to spend any money right now because I'm trying to save up for these fragments that's coming out. So, But thank you. Whew, but, if um, you've gotten all your Travises, then I think you're going to get a pair this week. You're lucky. It's going to happen, isn't it? I mean, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. So, See? Which, is, which, which is your favorite so far out of all the Travis releases? I like the ones. Probably the the sixes the the OG sixes maybe have like more sentimental value to me because I actually got that for retail on um uh, that foot action down in Chicago drove four hours to pick it up so that's oh cool. man so do I want to do I want to hurt you both I found wow. out that I didn't check my email and I actually won the Travis sixes on a raffle that went to my junk box and oh, no. I saw it a month later and it's still eating away at me yeah. which one the one behind you right there yes yes <laughs> this one i got so i got one at kith but i i actually got a second one so this i won on a kith raffle uh but i also won one from concepts and i didn't see the email Mm. And when I saw that literally a month later, I thought to myself, is it too late? Right there. Right there. <laughs> yes. Like, Can I just call them perfect. back? I'm just like, hey, so, you know, I don't know if maybe you have one. In maybe you have somewhere. one in the back, you know, you were waiting for us, you know, exactly. this whole time. Like, yeah, no. We were looking for you this whole time. You are the shade TV. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, they literally were sitting there thinking, no one's not going to come and pick up their shoe. Like it's, it's not going right. to happen. And then they're looking at my name, like who's this dumb girl? Who didn't go pick <laughs> I'm up sure they probably got a whole you know bunch. Went to the junk <laughs> mail, you know. So uh, it, oh. it probably could have happened to quite a bit, you know. Cleaning out my mailbox, I was just like, wait a second, don't, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Why? That's pretty tough. That hurts. Yeah. Are you that's the type where your email is like up to a hundred thousand, or to like? 100. Fortunately, I I am that girl. Um, you are that person. Mm. Let's actually see. I haven't even. There's mine right now. What's, you, I can't. Up, was it up. twenty thousand? Looks it looks a lot. Eighty thousand. How do you live? Wait, you beat me. Mine's at thirteen something. How do, actually, how do I'm I just live? Like, wait a very, second. Very 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 easily, and I sleep very well at night. It just doesn't. Like, bother oh me my at god, all. mine's like thirteen. Actually, no, my. My other app is is better. It's six hundred. You want to see some some Outlook. sick shit? Something. How about the call? How about the calls there? Oh wow, five hundred fifty-seven. Oh, nice. Are those missed calls, Casas? Or I haven't wow. set my voicemail nice up yet, so people get mad at me. They're like, "Hey, we can't leave a voicemail." I'm like, "Yeah, it's say, great. Text me. I don't want to listen." Exactly. To That's what I say. I I don't listen to them. <laughs> oh, look at this! Somebody's asking us to to put together a 
a shade versus Jumperman Chris sneaker battle calls. Oh, Casas, you can be you can be the judge. Well, I just have to let you know, Chris, that unfortunately, I'm like I'm like the the crooked Russian judge in the Olympics. I'm very biased towards Marissa, so I will you know, preemptively uh, award Marissa the win. But a job, I'm sure the fight will be very tough. <laughs> long as um, long as it's you know we're not playing for money, I think we'll be okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take an L. <laughs> uh, 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 but no, it's all you know. I'm not. I never really take those like sneaker battles like too seriously because it's always about people's uh, opinion. Like, I mean, I, it is. It you is. You know, it's it's all preference. Like someone could really like Jordan, someone can like freaking Yeezys or something. You know, like it, and it's then so... shoes are sentimental to to people as well. Like there's a storyline behind. Yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And like I feel like even Unbreakable, when I saw him do like the complex battle, his shoes won, but it, it wasn't like the other guy didn't have good shoes. He had like all the hype of shoes, the Ben and Jerry's, mm. he had Travis Scott's and you know, all these crazy shoes, but Unbreakable shoes were like the OG, like super limited Oregon Jordan. Yeah, like you know, PEs. like he gets it, he gets some really good PEs and stuff yeah, like that. Like crazy his, shoes. His that you're like, How did you get this? This was only like the team that got these. <laughs> right. like no big deal i remember too at secret con some kids stepped on those organs and i was like Ooh. yeah <laughs> you're like mm. <laughs> like, you, like when you do something you like that you're like I, I, sorry. <laughs> 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 like, I sorry i sorry i didn't mean to uh, I, I think it was the incident was... between me and him did that during the, i think it was dallas one year it was 2019 <laughs> like i think hey my bad man it's my birthday so don't don't <laughs> He's like, <laughs> You're like my bad. it's my birthday. I'm so sorry. I, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let me let me get down real quick and wipe this off. That's a tough look when people step on your shoes. I was in when I was in Tokyo with my girlfriend. I I, I rocked my the 350 V2 hyperspaces for the first time. It was like raining a little bit, and I like made sure mm. I had the umbrella over them, and like she stepped on them, and then like she denied it, but I saw it happen. And uh, yeah, yeah, that wasn't a, that wasn't a great night because I didn't let it go. My, my kids step on my stuff all the time, so I'm kind of used yeah. to it now, base. It's, You're it's, just phased out. I mean, yeah. it reminds me of the club life. Girls, I don't know what it is. Girls be stepping on girls on purpose with their heels. And mm, I've seen eight. some wounds. <laughs> literally, like, I would much rather get stepped on a sneaker any day. Because one time, my girlfriend, literally, some girl's stiletto heel went through the top of her foot. I'm in the bathroom, like, but I was like, girl, yeah, it doesn't look so bad. Blood's everywhere. I'm just like, oh. I think she's going to need stitches to my other girlfriend. <laughs> like, like, oh. oh, I mean, literally, we're just on the dance floor, and some girl just backed up on her, and it went right through her foot. I mean, mm. it was, she had to get stitches and everything. It was pretty she bad. She had to then, or she must have been bit, you know, one or the other. I don't, you know, you know, girls <laughs> looking at each other across the club. Did you look at my man? Like, what's going right. on? Like, uh, oops, sorry. Like, you can't be like 4'11", like 80 pounds and then cause <laughs> like, like skin puncture like that. Could you like, ooh. I don't know. I'm old He's... as fuck. I'm not going to clubs anymore these days. So I'm, <laughs> right. I'm, 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 I'm past <laughs> that phase of my life. <laughs> that or I'm, I'm only I, wearing I sneakers you know, in the clubs these days. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you and Roscoe, though, were out and about in, in Florida. Or maybe it was just no. Roscoe. Maybe it was just what? Roscoe who was like, yeah, I didn't sleep very much. We didn't do, we didn't do anything. I was, <laughs> you're like, you're I was like we went to bed. I went to bed. <laughs> He's just talking a big game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he did. I, don't, I went to bed. <laughs> you're like, I went straight to bed. I'm not about that life. No, I, lived I, think, in South, I lived oh. in South Beach. I had to get away from that place. I was just like... My mom was calling me a vampire. I was up all night sleeping in the daytime. I was not productive. This sneaker channel will would have not e existed if I was still in South Beach. <laughs> no, we I think a lot in Orlando we went home early because I literally had to take a freaking flight like at, at five a.m. to go to uh, to go to um, Indy the next day. And I was kept uh, saying, like, "Bro, I it's like I gotta wake up early, y'all. Y'all understand." <laughs> <laughs> But I still went like, out. I got a rest. Just a little. Yeah, Wait, I did see you on a rooftop, actually, at SeagerCon for a second. You look like you're having a good time. Even I think if we it just was just to, for a minute. Yeah. It was, it was all right. I think we just went to I know. To my crew it. couldn't even meet you guys in time. We didn't leave till. Like, yeah. What, do you, what were you guys doing the whole time at SeagerCon? Like, were you guys we're just working like. working on oh, a docuseries. Oh. So mm. we are, we were like filming a ton and just trying to get B-roll footage at the end before they started closing up shop. And 
I just realized, I'm like, man, I feel like we've been shooting for 24 hours straight, which I think was how long we were shooting for. It was crazy. So we wanted to go to that one barbecue place on the last day with you guys, but we asked and they were like, yeah, they close at this time. And there was just no yeah, way yeah, we yeah. Everything co- no everything way we're going to get in the car. Like close early. And, everything you know, we were kind of tired early. from the event and everything, so we didn't really feel like doing anything, you know, after that. I was, was, I was beat. I ate barbecue. Yeah hung out for a little bit in our little Airbnb house with everybody. And then I passed out. I was just like, dead. I don't think I didn't... you understand, like, going to these events and stuff, like it's, it's, it's pretty tiring. Yeah, so, so it was exhausting. I am I was exhausted just like, just, like, watching the videos and, like, hearing it, what you were doing. It was <sighs> exhausting. And just, like, having enough time to, like, grab lunch was even difficult. So I don't know. People assume, I think, that, you know, vlogging is, is easy. It, it is not easy. <laughs> No, when you do content and you're at an event, like you're on all the time. You got to be on all the time. Yeah. uh, (laughs) This is true. How many laps did you take around Sneaker Con, Chris? Were you, I feel like you must have laughed. I didn't even get to take a lap. Honestly, I did not actually walk fully through. Yeah, yeah, I think you were kind of like at that one spot a lot, right? Uh, I was in the um, one spot, then I went on stage for a little bit. And then I was at the eBay area where they were authenticating the shoes, and that was kind of it. Like, I didn't really... We took that loop where Roscoe lost his, you know, Rochambeau, rock, paper, scissor war with the little five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. So that, that was Roscoe, good he, says, um, he says he let him win, but I don't know about that. <laughs> I think it was good, though. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, that, that was a pretty good content. It was good that kid won, too. I think that was nice. Yeah. I like that. I hope, I hope he kept those shoes. I know they were too big for him, but I hope he keeps them. And like one day he writes us all and he's like, hey, remember that time? <laughs> hey, remember that I, I, got these? I, I got these. Yeah, I'm like 30 now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to all be really old and he's just going to be like the biggest YouTube channel to exist. <laughs> but we would be a bit a part of that, which would be great, right? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I don't know. I've, I've walked a couple of times, um, but... It was so big, you know, like I, I mainly kind of was a little stationary at, at most points. But yeah, I, I think I did a couple, I think I did a couple laps, but still it's, it was pretty tiring. So my feet, my feet were, were hurting. Yeah. Those yeah. Oreo, yeah. My white Oreos, whoo, probably not the best time to break those in. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Costos, you would have been like, uh, I'm out of here. I got to take a break. I, that most certainly. <laughs> is like, it, it's co- is there, is, is sneaker con not like your thing, you know, like kind of like, you know, it's a big. That was that was my people. first sneaker con ever. Oh, and yeah? Costos has never been. Yeah, that was my first sneaker event I've ever attended. Is that? I mean, uh, L.A. should be pretty. It should be pretty big. Uh, or I mean, San, San Fran. Francisco. Oh, yeah, San it's San actually in San. Actually, San Jose. Too. Yeah, they <laughs> right. keep saying San Francisco, and I lived in San Francisco. I'm like, you realize right. San Jose? I was born in San Francisco. Oh, you were. But- yeah, I was born in San Francisco. That was so that's you. Hometown. You probably know, like it, yeah, I know. It's I know far. San Jose. It's uh, they had it years before at San Jose. I don't think it's the, the same uh, center, if, if I'm mistaken. In 2019, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the same one. Cause... I am perfectly fine with it being there because guess what? We have to go to La Vix, and you're gonna thank mm-hmm. me, Chris. After it is gonna be the best burrito, taco, you name it, of your life. Love that. Hands down. And the sauce is like crack. I used to buy it by the gallon, literally, and just dump it on everything. And it's like this orange cream sauce. I can't even explain it. But, like, you have to go there. You cannot oh, okay. leave I, I San Jose without going there. It is famous for San Jose, literally. Hmm. I would definitely have to check it out, you know. Um, I haven't really – I haven't been in San Francisco in so long, other than that one year. But before then, it was such a long time. But I used to go, to like, back to, like – San Francisco a lot because you know I have like family members and stuff like that. I actually I already hit up my auntie. I was like, hey, I'm coming back in town. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna stay with you, auntie. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. I'm crashing on your couch. Hey, okay, I'm gonna. You know, you might you get an extra room, auntie. No. Right, and it's like, and I have some sneaker friends as well. We're gonna just all crash on your floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll, most of my uh, I have one auntie lives in San o- San Jose, but I don't think they have extra room for me. But th- I have another one in um. San Francisco. I think oh, that's like well, that's easy. I think that's like an hour. Isn't that like an hour away from San Jose? It's about an hour, yeah. Just depending yeah. on the time minutes. that you leave. Yeah. Minutes, yeah. As long as there's think. no traffic. That's I may actually stay in San Jose just to not have to drive there. Save right, right. Time. 
Save some time. I hate driving and sitting in traffic. I, that's the one thing I liked about Texas is where we stayed. Like, there was no traffic. It was literally like a 10-minute drive to the convention center. So much easier. And plus, you know, it's not it was not that bad in, in over in Dallas, too, like traffic-wise and everything. Yeah. Like, it's, it's easy to get around, I feel like. So what do you guys think about Ambush's uh, whole collection, the whole Tokyo Olympic exclusive that's dropping? Did you see, I think, who is it? Megan Thee Stallion that she was modeling everything with? And she's oh, I love, doing then the, I like it. the Ambush dunks with, it's that neon color that's dropping, but she's got like the whole capsule that she's launching with it. I know you're probably not wearing this, either of you. Hot pink sports bra, nice little pink vest. <laughs> no, but like, I would like yes. to see her in it. Oh. Say, I seen this one. Let me see if I'll bring it up. You said hot pink. Uh, it's like a, a hot pink vest, um, and it's coming out uh, this week. But it's interesting. Yeah, it's like this neon kind of colorway. Let's see here. Here's the collection. I'm gonna pull it up on the screen so you guys can see it here. Trying to Google it real quick, I'm like. <laughs> so mm -hmm. this is what we oh, got. Gosh. Yeah, I saw this today. Yeah, I just want to say that like mm -hmm. she's so fine, so like I kind of support everything that she does. <laughs> it's like all neon looking. It actually matches. I feel like my fuchsia dunks that I got as well, but For sure, it's cool. Cool concept. It's probably gonna be like a, like a less expensive like off white almost. Like I mean, I don't, I don't know what I would wear these clothes to. It's pretty futuristic. Like, I feel like it's going to be like a one-time kind of show. But I like the effort they put into the ad. It's different. It's cool. And she's got her girl gang. Oh, wow. I feel like she dyed her hair on the back tip for this campaign, too. That's crazy. Oh, wait, you guys can't see it because I need to roll it down. Oh, yeah. She got the different colors there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did a really good job with this campaign. But I got to I gotta get those shoes because I got to complete my Ambush Dunk collection. I have every color except for this one now. I need it, Chris. I need this. Do you have any of the Ambush Dunks or are you not a fan of them? I actually am a fan of them, but I just don't have them. I was going to purchase one in, in Atlanta. Shouts to my guy, Tommy. I just... Uh, just, I don't know. I guess I just decided not to. I don't know. <laughs> not a fan. I will say. I mean, I, I am a quality. fan. I like them. I they're, definitely like them. They're very high quality. This is probably my favorite colorway sick. out of all of them, the Dark Royal. Hey, kitties. Ask Daddy yeah, to buy looks... these for you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got he gets the fragment dunks. So What? Uh, You've got the yeah, fragment got frag dunks? He I am so jealous. He's like, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> what is this okay. dance that you're doing right now? Are we doing it? I TikTok? don't know. I think he's watching that TikTok too much. Uh, I shouldn't let him do that. <laughs> I hurt myself doing those TikTok dances last year. I'm out of the count. You won't see me doing any dances anymore. <laughs> Can't do it. I know all the kids are dancing these days. Casas, are you into that TikTok dancing? Or I made, I made my girlfriend delete hers because I told her it was rotting her brain. <laughs> I had see with these day and age, you know, for me being an influencer or anything, I I had to like keep up with all this stuff, and I'm you know I'm 35, so you know you gotta keep up with this type of thing. And, yeah, yeah, I, you know, you keep up I, re I, I refuse uh, honestly for my career. I like refuse to get on like there's like I'm like, noticing like the shorts keep getting shorter and shorter, you know, for guys because the it's attention like... span too. <laughs> You're right. People don't have enough attention span to, to watch anything these days. It's like five seconds, I think, is the average for the new generation. I'm just like you, pretending like it's not happening. So have we're really boring to them. <laughs> have you been jumping on the the TikTok YouTube wave thing that they got going on? What's, What's it called? The shorts? Oh, oh, the shorts. Yeah, I do shorts. I've been I've been testing out the shorts a little bit. Um, How's I don't that do going? I don't do it consistently. I think, you know, they're kind of tweaking out all the, the bugs right now and testing it. Um, it just looks kind of weird, right? If it like, cause it, doesn't it like show up on your channel? 
Type it shows deal. up on your channel, but it's weird because it shows up vertical and horizontal at the same time, but it plays vertical like a story. Uh, so it, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's interesting. You know, it's like all of these different platforms are trying to do the same thing. Instagram's trying right, I feel like that too. to be TikTok. They're trying to be YouTube. Everyone wants to be each other, but they don't have like what they need. It's like Instagram was known for photos and now they're dipping into YouTube with IGTV and now they're getting into TikTok with the reels. And then, you know, YouTube is now trying to kind of jump into the, the whole story frame and it's just different, you know, even stories on, on YouTube are different as well. Right. And I mean, I try to jump in some of the reels and some of the TikTok kind of thing, you know, like if I post them on TikTok, then I'll post something on, uh, on the IG reels, but that's like a separate type of content that I do instead of like mm -hmm. YouTube. I mean, YouTube is like my full thing, but you know, to, I don't want to get like, I feel like I try to jump into the trend on that because TikTok is a huge though, thing. It's because filming for YouTube, right? When we're doing long format, it's just the way that we film is not meant for the TikTok space. So it's literally like doubling down on the work and effort that you have to put into it. You can resize, you know, portions of your video, but it's not formatted to fit that platform. That's the part that I struggle with. It's like, do I want to go through double the effort to put it on TikTok and do something specifically short form versus, you know, putting more energy and effort into long form content? It's just, it's I mean, I think it's just not a source of like, like I, I just, I feel like just with TikTok, I use it as like more of like, um, you know, more exposure, I guess, if you want to call it or just more different content. To get eyeballs that way. Yeah, or Dance just just something, you know. It, it's it's not like a, my actual f like full niche, you know. Like mm -hmm. I know there are some TikTokers and there's some YouTubers, but I'm gonna just probably stick with YouTube because that's what I know. And YouTube's and you're been good around, at it, and it's harder to do long form co content. That's what I always tell people, you know, when it comes down to it what is the most difficult type of content, you know, that can be produced and is the most time consuming. And, you know, you really have to know your editing game with it as well. And so I think YouTube is just, it's harder to jump into it than it is for, you know, somebody who's going to create videos for TikTok or for the Instagram space in general. Right. Well, with a, like a following, like, um, you know, with YouTube is like, uh, you know, if you have like a certain amount of following, you, your like your views and your follower count kind of makes sense. Compared mm -hmm. with TikTok, I feel like I see some TikTokers have like a million followers, but sometimes they only get like a thousand or two thousand views or something. It just sometimes it's it's so wishy washy. Like it's some so wishy washy, like, and you don't. Know, there's no rhyme or reason sometimes when things go viral. They just do, right? And you're like, like why? Yeah, what exactly. Do? What were they, some what videos do do hit wrong? like a million views, and the next video will hit like a thousand views. Exactly. That's, that's so, like, there's, a, wow. there's no consistency oh. in mm -hmm. it, you know. And I get it. Like you can do that on YouTube as well. Uh, but it's still different, you know, and I think that right, the right. followers and subscribers that you have on each platform is different as well. Um, and yeah, TikTok, I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there yet. All right, guys, it's getting pretty much past our time limit here before my camera is about to like die on us. But any questions that you may have for Jumperman Chris while he's here with us or Costos while he's here with us this evening about any of the Shoes are going to be dropping this week. What's been in your rotation, actually, Chris, that you've been, you've been rocking the past few days? Ooh. Um, So I just wore the foam runners today. I just wore these today. Okay. Uh, well, because we heard you got the blisters. Yeah. So note to everybody, I have gotten Worth blisters wearing those without socks. They are not you got to wear worn. socks with them. A hundred percent. Right. You have to wear socks. They literally, oh it's just the shape of them. They will cut into the back of your heel. Yeah, my heels and are they literally cut, bleeding. Literally. They cut into like the side, like into my ankles. That's where they hurt me. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. definitely so need to have you socks wear, with Like these. the thick long socks, is that what you're talking about? I wear thick long socks with these. Yeah. I, I can't not mm -hmm. have thick socks with these. It's just, even this part will rub against my skin and that mm -hmm. irritates my foot too. So I was wearing like quarter socks. I thought I was good, but it, nope. I guess not. you you oh, got to cover your whole socks. heel or you're going to bleed. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah apparently protect those oh. feet. You're not going to be able to do be a foot model, Chris. You got to, oh, you know, protect goodness, those yeah. feet. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I've been wearing a lot of the, 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 the black and white dunks. I've been wearing those a lot lately just because like it's so easy to just throw on. Like if I'm like, 
you know, wifey's like, hey, you want to go for lunch? I'm like, oh, yeah, let me throw some on real quick. Like, uh, you know, you're like, uh, I got a white tee and black shorts. Oh, black and white pandas. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know like, there nice you go. and easy. Nice and easy. Or shoot, just wear a red tee and a black pants. Like, oh, you got black in it. Black and white yep, ducks. There we go. Let's just make right. it simple. Somebody and plus asked it's me, did you go a full size or half size up on the phone runners? I went a, I went I'm true up. true size also. And I went up, it's weird. I went up on mine. I think if, like, if you're a true, like, say, like a nine and a half, like a half size, I will go 10, if that makes sense. Right. So that was me. So I'm a half size and that's why I went up in the, the foam runner. Yeah. So I think it's it's complicated for us half sizers in these full size ranges. Right. Because there's, no, tr- there's no half size, right? In these. No, there's no half sizes. Yeah. So I'm typically a seven and a half, but I went with a size eight in this one instead of going down to a size seven. They're too small for my feet. I'm a true size 10. I got a 10 like they fit me perfectly. You lucky I'm full a- sizers. <laughs> I'm a nine and I got a nine. It's straight. It's fine. I think a 10 would fit would fit pretty good too. But, you know, like I said, I walked around all day in a theme park. It was not, it hurt. Like it was, it was, it was uh, the only pair I brought too. I kept wishing. I was like, damn, I wish I would have brought my Yeezy slides. That's what I kept thinking. But yes. if like, but if you wore socks with them, like I've had days where I've worn those all day in like mid Manhattan with socks and they're totally fine. Like, totally the fine. Socks. Okay. So yeah. there you go. There you have it. I got to wear thick, uh, um, Yeezy or Adidas thick socks. Yeah, I got to do that. Fine. I got to find a pair. Y'all going live for the Travis Fry. Yeah, y'all go live if uh, I win a raffle. I can promise <laughs> you guys that. What about for sneakers? <laughs> I, got one. Uh, I don't usually do lives for sneakers. I know that oh. Roscoe is big on that. Do you you go live for sneakers as well, though, too, right? I used to. Like, I was pretty big on live. It used to be like, uh, like I used to do it quite a bit during like the pandemic and the lockdowns because, you know, you're just trying to find any type of content out there. And uh, I, I had, I, I was doing pretty good on it. And then, of course, I had to go back to my job. So that kind of put damper in that. And then I quit my job. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should jump back into it. <laughs> go, go on back and forth. I'm actually, uh, what am I saying? Not going live. I actually am going live with Unbreakable. Hello, do oh, on the that. calendar. Yeah, I'm going that, live with Unbreakable. TV. So, um, yeah, everybody, tune in for that. We'll see if um, me or Unbreakable are able to actually cop a pair. Mm. Um, we'll see. Hopefully, some luck will rub off, off on us. He actually, well, what was luck. the last? He got the he won the lemonades, the um, off whites. In Boston, like he got early access to those, which wow. is crazy. Yeah, he got early access. I couldn't believe it when he posted that. I was like, "What? You are the luckiest person." I have not heard of anyone getting early access to these. That's pretty freaking fire. That's nice. Congrats to yeah. uh, UBK for real. That'd be a good live. If I'm if I'm not going live, I'll see if I can stay tuned. Are you on your channel or his channel? On his channel. So I'll be with the army. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Yeah, that's what he calls his subscribers. So I'll be with the army uh, live for for those. Hopefully, we'll be able to to take a yeah, W. It'll be man. exciting. Gonna be, this will be a tough one. This is gonna be pretty tough. Um, I I did enter in the flex app for LA. So if I get a W, I'll probably you take go that out there. Yeah, I'll take a flight out there. I'll definitely take a flight out there. Like hey, that would be no problem. You're like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm jumping on a plane. You're like, I'm yeah, I'll jump on a plane and everything. You know? <laughs> I, have, I have friends and I have some friends in, in L- LA, so that would be nice. Um, but uh, pick me up, take shit, take me right back. I don't care. And then you know, of course, that was also content too. So you know, exactly. Somebody would love to watch you hop on a plane and, and go all the hop way out there to, get, to, grab to get on these bags. Yeah, for sure. But uh, right. we'll see. But I'm hearing it's pretty low, so. Stock sounds to be very limited, which is probably why they thought at first that they weren't going to be giving it even to the stores. But um, we'll see. May the luck be with all of us. <laughs> yeah, good luck to no all. Clue. We'll see how that all works. So, yeah. All right, everybody. Well, Chris, Roscoe. Yeah, thank oh, you for having always me. Always a pleasure <laughs> having you on with me, Costos and Chris. Hopefully we'll have you on some more shade selects. Yeah, for sure. Like some, Definitely. Sorry, uh, I was late and everything. It was kind of because I told you last night. I was like, I'm going to the water parks. We'll see. If I, I know it was like I wanted you to go on live at the water park. It was just what I wanted. <laughs> exactly. You're with your kids. You're like going down a right. slide. I'm like, hey, put that down. <laughs> <laughs> Yell at them. Hey, 
don't touch that. No, you can't have that. No, don't ask me oh, again. <laughs> that would have been really entertaining, actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, put that down. Don't touch that. What is? <laughs> who's that? Hey, I'm sorry. My bad. That, that was a lot today. My bad. My bad. Right. <laughs> I apologize for my kids. But, so where where can everyone find you at? I you got your Instagram, on, your TikTok, your Twitter. Yeah, I'm on uh, at Jumperman Chris with a K. Uh, Jumperman Chris with a K on YouTube, IG, TikTok. Sometimes I'm on Twitter and then uh, even Snapchat. I'm barely on Snapchat too, Look but just mainly TikTok. And- People keep asking. Uh, my Snapchat, I don't even know my password anymore. I tried to log right. in the other day. Yeah. Cause I you don't even get on Snapchat anymore? No. no. You don't get on Snapchat. I have not been on Snapchat in three years or something like that. I don't even know the last time I was on there, to be honest with you. Can't remember my password to save my life. Smash the like button before you get out of here. Yeah, smash the like button. Costos, you want to let everybody know where they can find you as well? Yeah, hit me up on IG for sneaker content and non-sports stuff. Uh, T-H-E-K-O-S-T-O-S, the, and then my last name. And if you're into sports and sports betting stuff, um, that's what my Twitter's for, at the Costos. Same same exact handle. All right, you two. Well, happy Monday, everybody. Be sure to, again, like Chris and everybody is mentioning in the comments, hit that like if you haven't. Hit that subscribe if you're new here today. And uh, we got a lot of content coming out on Shade TV this week. And again, I'll be on live with Unbreakable trying to cop a pair of those fragment. Travis Scott. Good luck. Good Good luck to everybody. Hopefully one of us will take a W this week and we'll have something to talk about. Uh, Other than that, have a good night, everyone. Was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.